we have a system of surveillance that we have to uh, report in every uh, disseminated live disease that, that is if you have a systemic disease, not, not a rash but a local disease but a systemic and that has been very uh, the same the last 10 years like 300 uh, uh, cases a year uh, and with TBE um, that is also been quite the same for the last years. But we know from our neighbour countries, uh, Sweden and uh, Finland, that things are changing, that it's growing. So we think it, it's going to grow in Norway also, but the numbers until now cannot be, uh, they are too small to be sure that it's growing. We have been talking about making a clinic for tick-borne diseases, uh, that we could do diagnostics and, and specialise on that. But until now the government has not given us any money for that. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, acute Lyme, urobiliosis uh, and the rash and so, that's better and better. And, and we try to travel around the country to uh, speak about this. And we'll also make a brochure uh, together with uh, the patients organization here that we will uh, disseminate to all the general practices uh, in the country uh, about this disease. So I think that's getting better. But I think what you mean is uh, this uh, uh, group of um, persons that uh, uh, have more chronic problems. Mm -hmm. And that's a very controversial uh, discussion also in Norway as in France and in Germany and other countries. What is this? Is this a chronic disease uh, which is caused by a still living bacteria despite treatment or is it other reasons? So mm -hmm. we do not agree on that. We, I, I know what I have been reading the reports and the research done and I'm really concerned about learning what are people doing to find out these things. So I'm not ignorant, I think myself I'm not ignorant, but, but I don't believe that we know enough to say that we can have this cyst persisting in our body. Yes, I know they can persist in, our, um, in, our, yeah, in the laboratory or in cell cultures and so, uh, but we haven't shown these things with the biofilm, the round bodies, these things in the living body of a human being. And, and for me that's, why not? Because we have been researching for this for so many years, looking for this. Uh, so, so until now I can't feel convinced that this is happening in, in people. And I think it's more likely that the persisting uh, um, symptoms after infection has another reason. So we do not, we can discuss all these things very long and it's interesting and so, but, but I think that comes down to that, that we have a different, um, we look different on, on the research that's done and, and uh, what, what kind of experience the doctors have, we, we look different on that. Because I also think that uh, there are a lot of people thinking they have Lyme or other tick-borne diseases that maybe have something completely else. So what I think that this line that I'm talking about is not a line like that. It is a broad road to, uh, that you can be sure that you have tested and, and excluded uh, other diseases and, and that you can make a good diagnosis as good as it is possible. So we just live a little bit in two different words sometimes and I think that's, uh, that's not good. Just let, let's talk together and let's work together. But we can use all the time to try to convince each other because it's not that you don't know what I am talking about or I don't know but we are just not we don't agree but that is that's not dangerous uh, of course if you think that uh, you should have a long uh, treatment with antibiotics and that's the only thing that will help you so so okay then we can see we have a problem uh, but uh, um, to talk about it like we do now and have the Congress together and so I think that's good.